2023 Ford Everest Pricing and Technical Specifications. Once upon a time in Australia, there was a sport utility vehicle with a Ford badge that competed head-to-head -head with the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado in terms of sales. It seems like such a long time ago now. That was the locally designed and manufactured territory, and ultimately it had an option for a 2.7-liter turbo diesel V6 engine that was shared with a variety of Land Rover vehicles. Unfortunately, Ford stopped producing vehicles locally in 2016, and the unibody territory crossover was one of the vehicles that was discontinued. The good news is that Ford has a new three-row SUV that has been locally engineered, though not constructed locally, and it boasts an engine that is already familiar to drivers. The new body-on-frame Ford Everest, just like the Ranger it's based on, is equipped with an optional 3.0-liter Lion V6 turbo diesel engine. This is an upgraded version of the engine that was so well received in the Ford territory. What can you tell me about the cabin of the Ford Everest Sport? It would be fun to play a game of spot the difference if the cabins of the Everest and the Ranger were placed next to each other. That is something that has positives as well as negatives. The good news is that the Everest comes standard with the same massive portrait-oriented touchscreen that measures up to 12 inches in size and is powered by the most recent version of the SYNC 4 infotainment system. It has a totally modern appearance, response speeds that are normally swift, and menus that are, for the most part, easy to understand. Importantly for Ford, it obliterates competing systems from Isuzu, Mitsubishi, and Toyota. And on top of that, it provides higher resolution camera views and over-the-air updates. What's going on underneath the hood? The Everest Sport is driven by a turbo diesel V6 engine that is 3.0 liters in capacity and produces 184 kilowatts of power at 3,250 revolutions per minute RPM, as well as 600 newton meters of torque between 1750 and 2,250 revolutions per minute. These outputs have increased by 30 kilowatts and 100 newton meters in comparison to the 2.0-liter Biturbo, and they have increased by 34 kilowatts and 100 newton meters in comparison to the turbo diesel 4 found in the Prado. In addition to having full-time four-wheel drive, the V6 engine is paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. The maximum braking capacity of the vehicle was increased from 3,100 kg to 3,500 kg. The bi-turbo 4x4 has a claimed fuel efficiency of 7.2 L 100 km, whereas Ford claims the EcoBoost has a combined cycle fuel economy of 8.5 L 100 km. All variants feature an 80 L fuel tank. How is the driving experience of the Ford Everest Sport? In terms of refinement and road holding, the Everest has been brought more in line with unibody SUVs thanks to the efforts of the engineers at Ford. The ride quality is particularly remarkable, especially taking into consideration that it still has a solid back axle. The frame doesn't shake all that much, and the ride is properly damped, even on uneven pavement. It also manages to provide a feeling of being nicely fastened down, even over roads with more undulation. This should not come as a surprise given that the previous generation of the Everest had an extraordinarily high level of ride quality for a huge SUV with a body-on-frame construction. The Everest always felt grounded, and the body roll was well controlled for a vehicle of this size and structure as we were driving between Mount Nebo and Mount Glorious in Queensland, a fabulously winding terrain. 2023 Ford Everest Pricing A new flagship 4x2 variation is going to be added to the 2023 Ford Everest lineup, and prices are going up across the board for all model grades as a result of this expansion. The second generation of the Everest, which just debuted in dealership showrooms a month ago, has already been given its first update, which Ford refers to as Model Year 2023.5. Production of this model is scheduled to begin in March of 2023. Due to the relatively minor modifications in the specifications, 
Ford Australia has announced that they would be increasing the prices of their revised 2023.5 range by $300 to $649. Even if they placed their order before the model year 2023.5 changes were announced, customers who order and choose to take delivery of a vehicle built from March 2023 onwards will be hit with the price rises, and they will gain the specification changes. This is the case even if they decide to take delivery of the vehicle at a later date.